Good morning. I am Dr. Unmesh Thakur sir. I am a Chief Managing Director, Care Sigma Group of Hospitals, Mumbai Nagar, Aurangabad. So today we are here to talk about ERCP. It is called as Endoscopic Retrograde Cholangiopancreatography. So this is a most advanced investigations in liver and pancreas, which is done by endoscope. Basically, it is done by a side viewing endoscope which goes in the second part of the duodenum and from the papilla of the duodenum we go either into the liver or into the pancreas the most common diseases which we tackle with biliary system is one of the most common thing is uh, stones so most of the patients of gall stones gall marrow stones they have a uh, cbd stones which is in the duct so that we need to clear so that is the most common thing which we do with the ERCP then next common thing is uh, malignancy so either it can be inside or from outside so wall bladder malignancy liver malignancy uh, stomach node or freezing on the cbd which we need to bypass and we need to clear the jaundice so it is one of the main stay in the treatment of obstructive jaundice that is uh, in a biliary system and third thing is we have a uh, you know uh, infections in the biliary tract which is called as cholangitis and we need to do a emergency uh, access to this uh, cbd and another most important thing is gall uh, gallstone pancreatitis in selective cases we do uh, emergency ercp to save the life of the patient so this is uh, the broad area of liver uh, 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 endoscopy where we do a biliary access technique then we have a pancreatic uh, system where we have a lot of diseases like benign disease malignancy stone of the pancreas trauma to the pancreas sometimes after pancreatitis there is a cyst which can be drained sometimes internally so these are the areas where we do ERCP in a pancreatic cannulation and pancreatic cannulation will help you to drain the pancreas and we be help you to prevent the pancreatitis so most importantly uh, post ercp pancreatitis is the commonest complication of ercp procedure which can be avoided in many ways but anyway if we happen to be there in a pancreatic system when we are cannulating the cbd the best most important thing is we need to put in a stent in a pancreas so that we can avoid post operative pancreatitis that is one of the uh, access to the pancreas another thing is if you have a cancer head of pancreas then a stone most common thing is pancreatic stone which we do a lithotripter so pancreatic lithotripsy followed by ERCP for extraction of stone this is the most important technique of uh, uh, having a pancreatic therapy in ERCP and then uh, you can have a trauma trauma to the pancreas and it can have a partial or complete disruption of the duct which need to be cannulated from the pancreatic duct and that can be a life saving procedure for the patient so this is a important two accesses when we do ERCP and most important thing is ERCP when it is combined with endoscopic ultrasound then the dimension is completely changing so there are a lot of things which EVS can do which uh, in the stomach which EVS can do in the duodenum which EVS can do uh, in a different drainage of pseudo pancreatic cyst then uh, ward of pancreatic necrosis and all these advanced procedures with the help of ERCP and EVS we, is very very important and beneficial to the patients we as a care sigma group of hospital in chambaji nagar aurangabad are having all this facility of uh, endoscopic ERCP and regularly we are doing this procedures for helping the patients so it is a very high end procedure which requires a very high learning curve and after the learning curve we can practice the ERCP and which as you go on practicing you go on becoming expert in ERCP and uh, EVS combined with ERCP is boon for the patient thank you so much